Well, we're giving up a lot more runs than I thought. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's been close wins. I mean, even that first one we won with the home run at the very end. So it's not like I'm dominating. The Nemesis are just two and two. Yeah, they are. Oh, there's the playoffs today. Hey, we're the number one seed right now at the playoffs started. And of course we would play the B-Wolves, which would be awful. What a what terrible, well, it depends. I don't know how they do the, uh, how the brackets look. We still just got a plethora, a plethora of home runs scattered about. Nobody's really taking advantage of that. Uh, so let's see. We got the Wardens up next. They do have a winning record. They've only lost one. They are power hitters, which may be our weakness. So we'll have to see how that works out. They have a much better batting average than our top three players. Listen here, sometimes you gotta throw a change up. I wish this screen here showed you the, uh, the batting average next to them. All right, let's get this going. We need to start uh, using substitutes a lot more also. Oh my God, they got two guys that are super hyped and one that's down. And it looks like one of their second baseman's injured. Interesting. I'm a freak is not hyped. Oh. Jeff Reese, Clint Knight, and Julia push-ups. She sounds buff. Oh man, here we go. Their leadoff hitter, Jeffrey East, is batting 368 on the season and has four RBIs. All right, let's see what we got. Uh oh, seven's a little wonky. Oh, but he was fooled on the fastball. Your birthday, so is the day your birthday gingerly? Oh, that's a high fastball. Uh-oh. Can I make that play? No, I couldn't get to it in time. And the game is very laggy for some reason. Let me actually tab out of this. I have to do this when I play online sometimes. Is tab out of the game and then go back into it. And hopefully, Number two, the left field. that helps. Uh -oh. Let's see if Zeros can make the play. It's because the... Yes. Now batting, number 71, the first baseman. I wonder if you all could see that. It does it does look choppy to me. Got him! Seven is Oh god, that's gonna be a wall. No! Oh good god. Oh no. And that one was crushed! Her fourth home run and sixth RBI of the season. Now batting number. Hello. Holy crap! That was not a changeup. Like I said, I need to. Uh... The catcher. She was one of those people that was super hyped before the game. So she was locked in. Ah. 
Oh, is she on fire? My lord. Now batting number 56, the second base. Oh my lord, we are giving up hit after hit after hit. What is going on here? Now batting number 11, the shortstop. It's I'm a freak. I'm a freak is actually hurt it looks like. But he's still playing. Freak goes down swinging. So seven gives up one run in the first. Why so slow? Zero's McBirthday and SKS lead off. Oh, my ego is at 75. I changed it to practice. And, oh, I didn't even notice that. So we're playing at a higher ego. Oh, my God. Why so slow? Rob. Robbed of a base hit there, and that brings up Zero's McBirthday for the Larry Ballers. That's one way. <laughs> Evidently, the choppiness is part of the uh, the ego. Another pop-up. SKS, the pop-up king, lives up to his name. That's a one, two, three. Inning for the Larry Ballers. So we're not off to a good start. That brings up Gertie Raul. Raul. Now it's popped up. Why so slow? Creeps over just a little bit. Gets underneath it. That's going to be one away. Oh, that was a nasty curve. Oh, no! No, SKS bumbled the slot and grab. And that gives up a base hit. Strikeout number two. That's the ego. Oh, and it gets by SKS. Oh, that's bad. No, 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 no. Don't let it go. Oh, my God. Runners on the corner, and here comes Clint Knight. He is on fire the last few games. He was fooled. This should... That will end, retire the side. Devin gets out of a jam. It brings up Aaron Boxicus. Big strike one. Boxicus nails that one. Center fielder's on the run. He gets to it. And that brings up Captain Pete. The center field. Got that one off to the left. To the right. Fouls that one away, but this one looks playable. 93 power. And the first baseman makes the grab. Oh my god. Now that number 54, the shortstop. Okay. Uh oh, looks like Reaver's gonna bloop that in, and that's gonna be a base hit. For Reaver Axis, and the Larry Ballers get one on with two outs. And that brings up Azura Alliance. Oh, and he hammers that right back, and the pitcher makes the grab. And it just doesn't get easier. We got Julia push-ups up again. She's one for one with a home run. 
She's jacked. Oh my god. I was right out of the reach and a base hit for Julia. Now batting number 10, the catcher. Jerome Prowse comes up. One runner on. Got him swinging. That brings up Hang Grayweather. Bat 667 on the season. Crushed down the line, but foul. Could be a double play ball. I was going to say I took forever to throw it, but SKS completes the double play. Good defensive inning for the Larry Ballers here. We go to the bottom of the third. Still 1-0 the Wardens. Bottom of the lineup up for the Ballers, though. Nova Mins comes in. Takes one right down the pipe. That was a little high. That one's hit, but straight to the first baseman. Julia Pushups, who's just the player of the year right now, grabs it. And we go to seven. The pitcher comes up, trying to get hit here to keep something, get something going. Devin gets good contact on that one, but not enough. Gets it almost to the warning track. Nice swing there, but just not enough on it. We're back to why so slow. He's already 0 for 1 tonight. Big swing there, missed it barely. Big swing, one and one's the count. That one's hit, that's gonna land in the gap and that's gonna be a base hit there for why so slow. So again, the Larry Baller's getting another hit but with two outs and that brings up Zeros McBirthday and he's a little tense. Hopefully he can do something to get out of that. And he hits it right to the shortstop, and that will end the inning. We go to the fourth. Still a goose egg on the board for the Larry Ballers. I'm a Freak will lead up. Gertie Raul and Alexis Lon. I can't believe they're playing him hurt. Well, no, it says he's just tense, but that's a big drop on tense. Seven gets underneath it. The pink glove gets some action. Kind of bad. We go to Gertie Raul. Mm. Oh, that one's hit deep. Novamans goes back. And that's another home run as Raul puts it over the right field wall. And the Wardens go up 2-0. Now batting, number 16, the third baseman. That brings up Flan. That's a grounder. Boxicus has that. Throw to Zeros. That's two away. Now High power slide comes up. The pitcher for the Wardens. Yeah, I didn't think she hit that one enough either, but it was just the right pitch and right hit. That one's hit right back to seven, and that will retire the side. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. The meat of the lineup, I guess I could say, is due up for the ballers, but let's see if they can get some productivity going. SKS crushes that one to the gap. It's going to go to the wall. It's off the wall. Center fielder gets to it. He's going to hold up at second. And that gets somebody on for the Larry Ballers here in the bottom of the fourth. Let's see if Boxicus can follow. Oh, 
Oh, that's right back to the pitcher. That looks like that's going to move SKS up, and Boxicus is too slow and gets thrown out at first. But a runner on third, and that brings up Pete. And Pete will pop up behind two outs, a runner still on third. Let's see if Reaver, who had a hit earlier tonight, can get something done. No! I didn't mean... Oh, I hate the power swing. I let off of it too early and it swung. Now batting, number four, the center fielder. Seven may be done after this inning. Good pitch by seven there. Uh oh, that one's popped up. Pete's on the run. Can Pete get over to it? He's waving everybody off. He'll make the catch two away. Julia push-ups once again comes up. I, don't, I feel like no matter where I throw the ball to her, she's going to hit it. Well, that one's hit. SKS is on it. Woo, we retire the side. Do nothing game here. Azure Alliance steps in. That's a grounder. It's the short. I'm a freak, picks it up, throws one away. Now batting, Novaman steps up. Big strike there. And a strikeout. Woo! And that brings up seven. I'm going to go ahead and substitute him. Let's bring in Travis the Unknown Enchant. My God, he's bringing some some junk now. We'll bring in Double J. Jerome Prowls, Hang Grayweather, and I'm a freak. J walks the first. Oh my god. That. <laughs> Come on up. Have a word. Fooled, but they hit it. Oh my gosh. Woo. Man, we're just we're just giving up hits. And that brings up I'm a freak. Big strike there. I'm a freak pops that one up. Third baseman Boxicus goes over for it. They did grim it. That's what I'm saying. It's a hot team, so I don't know if it's necessarily the ego. We just ran into them when they're just freaking in prime mood right now. Ooh, 
96. Double J, light my fire. That one's jacked, but it goes foul, thankfully. Oh, and he gets her on the curve. And that brings up Alexis Flan. Ooh, got her on the changeup. Boxicus with the throw, and that will retire the side, so no damage done. Double J comes in and does some work. Gives up a few hits. And we're back to the top of the lineup. Why so slow? We'll lead him off here in the sixth. There's a big difference in the hitting. Now batting, number Zeros two. is tenth. Oh, I really thought he could take that down the line. Probably shouldn't have swung it up. Oh, SKS right back up the middle. Pitcher takes care of it. Throws the dirty laundry out. Oh, Zeros makes the play. Throws over to Ubal J. One out. Number four, the center field. Uh oh, Reaver. Oh, Reaver! What just happened? And the guy's going for second because Reaver didn't go back for it? Are you serious? Any other time, the infielders run to the outfield and make catches, but on that, he doesn't go back after it? Oh, my lord. Uh-oh. Julia push-ups. Two outs. And she rounds out, hopefully, the SKS, and that retires the side. All right, boys, if there's a time to get some runs, it's right now. Why would I swing at that? I guess I thought he was throwing a curve. There's right back up the middle. Boxicus gets on with a single. That brings up Captain Pete. And Keith, uh, Keith, Pete will advance the runner. But we need more than one. That brings up Reaver. That one's hit right at the short. They go to first and get the out. And now it comes down to Azure Alliance, who's 0 for 2 today. We need something big here. And that one's hit up the middle, and Azur's going to drive in the first run for the Larry Ballers. Makes it 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the seventh. And that brings in Novamans. Two balls, power slide. Trying to control the damage. That one's hit. If it drops, it could be dangerous. And they're going to get runners on the corner here with two outs. The Larry Ballers pressuring, and we're definitely going to substitute Double J. Let's bring in Lethal. Let's see what he can do. The hell it was. 
Oh, get out of bounds! Get out of bounds! Get out of play! No! Lethal! Oh. We'll bring in Wembley to try to... Well, we got one. Maybe we put too much pressure on Lethal. Grounder Reaver makes up for it this time. One out. And that brings up Hank Grayweather, who's two for three today. Big swing and a miss there. Uh oh, and that's going to be a base hit to center. Pete comes up, plays it, throws it back in. And brings up I'm a Freak, who's had a terrible day. I'm still confused at why the computer plays him. They have, they were supposed to have like fixed the computer this year of not making bad substitutions. And I'm a Freak goes down just an abysmal day. And here's Raul, home run earlier. Anticipated my ass. Oh, I was right there! He's hit two home runs today. Now batting, number 16, the third baseman. Reaver getting underneath it. Yeah, we're back. Why so slow? Oh, they're bringing in, uh, they're making a switch. Tyree Franks in for Hang Grayweather. That was a good hit, but way too much air underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and sub. What's wrong with Z? Oh, he's out of position. Let's put... Now put Ballas in. Number eight. Man Cake, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Ballas hits it straight to the second baseman, though. That's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Time running out for the Larry Ballers. Number 22, the SKS. Baseman. Crushes that one to the gap. Bounces off the wall right back to their baseman. Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? And he has to slide in the second. So a two-out double. And that brings up Boxicus. That was so outside or inside. Get down. Oh! And Boxicus on the air will get another run in. That's his second RBI of the day. And that brings in Captain Pete, who is 0 for 3. I really need you to deliver, Pete. Get, 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 get! Oh god, I don't know if he's fast enough. Okay, we got one. Four, three. Now batting, 54, the short. All right, Reaver. Yeah. Reaver gets connection! The Larry Ballers go back in the lead! Oh my god! What a comeback! Reaver Axis caught it all! The pitcher is definitely shook! The Larry Ballers are on top! And Azure Alliance comes up, he is locked in. Look at that power slide! Totally broken, great hit, but straight at the shortstop. That will end the inning. We go to the ninth! 
The Ballers with a chance to win it right here. They're bringing in the closer, Cayman. Now batting, number 49, the pitch. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, and it's a base hit. That puts one on. The tying run gets the first. Oh, man. And it's the heart of their lineup. Oh, my Lord. And that's another base hit. The CPU's like, no, this is not going to happen. You're not going to come back and win this. Oh, Clint Knight. He's 0 for 4, but yet somehow still locked in. Double play. Okay, so the tying run is on third. It comes down to Julia push-ups versus Cayman. Oh, my God. She hammers that. It's going toward the wall. No! I should have walked her. Oh my god. I should have walked her. The comeback is killed. I didn't even it didn't even cross my mind to walk her. I had that much confidence in Cayman to take care of her. We go to the bottom of the ninth. They're bringing in their closer, Jillian Worrymore. Yeah, but when you all said it, the bat had already, it, the delay. All right. Oh, come on. What? Oh my god, okay. Well, we gotta get Cayman out of there. Let's bring a Noni in. I made a managerial... A managerial faux pas there and screwed the pooch. Get in the gap, get down, get down, get down! Not in the glove! Gosh, Raul! Their power hitters have just killed us today. I screwed up. I should have walked her. I should have beamed her. He's gonna make that catch. Oh my god, this. Sixteen hits were given up this day. Cayman takes the L. <laughs> Julia had two home runs, three RBIs. Raul, two home runs, three RBIs. And then their starting pitcher went eight innings, giving up nine hits and one earned run.